right, now for this next step, I'm going to show you how to create the flowers. Now you can use a variety of different colors of flowers inside your pot. Um, like this one I use white, light pink, uh, kind of a medium pink. You can use whatever colors you want, but I do use two different variations of the styles of flowers for it. So for the first one I'll show you is you create your magic ring, pull up your loop, and then you want to chain two. And then next you're gonna to wanna to double crochet into the ring. So yarn over, go into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through your first two loops, yarn over and go through your last two loops. Now you wanna create another double crochet and then chain two. And then you wanna slip stitch into your magic ring. All right, we've made one little bump of the flower. So we wanna repeat, chain two, then double crochet two times into the ring. And then chain two, slip stitch into the ring chain two, double crochet two times into your ring. Chain two, and then slip stitch into your ring. Now you've created three little bumps. So we'll go ahead and tie off. And then we'll take our tail for our magic ring and just pull the circle closed and give a little pull onto our end string. And here we are, we have a little three petal flower. So that's your first variation. Our second variation is creating a four petal flower. And that's simply same thing. Create your magic ring, chain two, then double crochet two times into your ring, and then chain two, slip stitch into the ring, chain two, double crochet two times into your ring, chain two, slip stitch into your ring. Now just a heads up, like see how I'm working? My end of my ring is getting really close to where I'm working. Just pull on it a little bit. It closes the ring a little bit, but not fully close it all the way. So now we made two little bumps of the flower. So I wanna chain two, double crochet two times into the ring. And then chain two, slip stitch into your ring. So you have three little bumps. Then we want to chain two, double crochet two times into our ring. And then chain two, and then slip stitch into your ring. Now we have four little bumps. So pull up a loop, tie off, pull the tail of our magic ring in order to close, pull our end of our yarn nice and tight, and now we have a little four petal. All right, now we wanna keep these ends, you know, long, cause those are how we're gonna tie them on to our flower pot. Now for these flowers, you're gonna need roughly about 30 of them all together for the top of your flower pot. 
Um, I don't really like to say a specific number onto them because, well, whenever I'm putting them together, I'm kind of at random picking and choosing different colors and where I think they should go. Sometimes I can get away with less than 30. Sometimes I need more. So the way I suggest is as you're going along, go ahead and start attaching them. Now there's no specific way that they need to attach onto here besides the top of your flower or your um, flower pot. Stick your hook through, grab one of the strings and pull it through. And then, as you can see there, go into the stitch next to it and pull up the pull in the second string. Okay, so you've got this on either side of a stitch and simply tie it on. Create a little square knot. And there we are. We have one flower attached. Now I've made up a few so far, so I'll just go ahead here with you and attach a couple. Like here's a white one. So I think also the randomness of it is what kind of gives it a little bit more character, makes it more fun. Just keep going along, attaching more little flowers as we've made them into our pot. Just make sure you don't tie them into the same hole or else your flower will not hold. Yes, I have done that. Another thing I do recommend kind of start in one little area and work your way out. Uh, just because as we get more and more filled into here, all the strings and everything can be a little bit of a mess onto everything. So just kind of keep that in mind. And then just keep attaching more and more little flowers. And yes, if you feel like you need to add a different color into it also trying to make it pop by all means here also this is why I like to make the flowers as I'm attaching them so I mean you can make a few but I don't know it gives me the variation of I can go no nah, I want to add this color here or I need some more of this color plugged in so it allows you a little bit more for kind of how it feels as you're creating your little flower pot. So here now we have our top with our flowers sewn on. And like I said, just kind of randomly toss all your flowers all over the place. Don't want to pack them in too tight. I mean, you can if you want. But, and then all these extra little strings, I kind of leave them uh, because they kind of work as like extra stuffing for inside of our flower pot whenever we get to that point. So next, what I'm going to show you is how to make the leaves. So to make the leaves, we just start with our slip knot. And then we want to chain four. All right. And then what we want to do is double crochet two times into the second chain from the hook. So yarn over, go through the stitch, pull up a loop, 
yarn over, come through your first two loops, yarn over, go through your last two loops, and do it for a second time into that same stitch. All right, and then into the next stitch, what we wanna do is a half double crochet. So we yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now we have one stitch left. Into that stitch, we wanna put three single crochets. All right, now if you're like mine, my uh, slip knot came a bit loose, so I'll just tighten that down. Now what we're gonna do is start working down the other side of our leaf and because of this tail, we're just gonna work around that piece. So into our next stitch coming down, we're gonna have to do a half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, and keep that working or the tail end of our yarn in between where we're working. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. And once again, make sure we keep working over this one. And then to this next stitch right here, we wanna put two double crochets. All right, and then into this last little stitch, which was that first, uh, fourth actually, chain one, we're gonna slip stitch right into there, pull up a loop, cut our yarn, and then our tie off. So now also our starting end is right here at the base of the leaf, and our finishing end is also at the base of the leaf. And so we have our little leaf. Now for this, you wanna make probably about 10 of these for our entire project. You can make more, you can make less, that's up to you. I still, with this re step, recommend attaching them as you go. So, once again, just like all the flower petals, we're gonna take our dirt mound and we're just gonna pull the ends of the strings right through. Make sure you don't go into the same stitch, so one stitch apart, and then simply tie them on. And then just repeat until you have all the leaves that you want inside of your project. And then just continue working around, find a little open spot. You might want to just kind of pause the video while you make your leaves and then come back as soon as you get a few that you want to add on. I've already pre-made a whole bunch of little leaves for this, so. Now, if you do decide to cut your ends, make sure you do not cut the end that we left long of the brown, because we will need that in order to sew it onto our pot. But if you want, go ahead and keep working on attaching your leaves for however many you want all over it. And I'll meet you back as soon as I get all my leaves attached to show you how to attach it to the pot. 